Sasha Clark and camera by Lottie Bollinger went to the only make-believe gala and talked to Brad Oscar, Dina Hammerstein, David Bryan, Kurt Froman, Joel Gargiulo, sorry if I messed the name up, Michael McGraw, Judy Kay, Constantine Maroulis, Rachel Dratch, Gina Duvall, John Cariani, Kate Renders, Montega Glover, Jody Pietra, and Chad Kimball. What's your favorite part about this event, and what are you looking forward to this Well, event? I mean, it's just another wonderful uh, excuse to bring attention to Only Make Believe, to this, you know, extraordinary organization that does uh, so much for, you know, for these kids. And how long have you been involved with this I've been involved, I think my first benefit uh, was 2001, I think, so yeah, a long time, almost from the beginning. Almost yeah, from yeah, a long time. So, and, yeah. um, so your favorite part of this year's event? My favorite part of this year's event, I mean, just seeing what, what it's going to be. I mean, because every year, again, it's so chock full of talent. And, you know, there's always such great performances. And so, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what that will be. And, you know, ideally, again, just to bring attention. And to what, what's upcoming for you personally? Personally, Thanksgiving, Christmas. <laughs> At this point, I'm in between, as they say. Are so we'll you? see. I am. I am. <laughs> exactly. I'm letting my husband, you know, keep me living in the style I'm accustomed to. There you go. Good to see you. You as Thank well. You so Thank you. There for Christmas last year. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So 19 years. I know. Who'd have thunk it, eh? I know. Yeah. So what's your favorite part of this year's yeah. event? My favorite part is actually seeing how lovely our company always and the staff dress up for this occasion and what a thrill it is for them so to be an all about the fashion for you. No, for them just having their special day to and celebrate are you them. Gearing up for 20, the big two. Of yeah, 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 we are to be honest. You're pull out all the stops. Well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Well, you have a great team here. Ah, oh, we do. Thanks. So, good seeing you. And you too. Thank you. Bye. I've known Joe DiPietro since 2001, so... Uh, Almost since the beginning. Yeah, since the beginning, really. And, and it's great that you can make the time to show up and be part well, of the performance. Supporting, yeah. Supporting Only Make Believe. And what Dina Hammerstein's vision at the beginning is just... You know, you look at those six unfortunate kids, and uh, it's heartbreaking. And you can go into that hospital and make them forget about it. Yeah. You know, and just, and, and the troops that she puts together, and the only make-believe troops are just, they're angels, you know, and they yeah. come in and do this and just bring joy and all that suffering. So I think it's a, it's a great, great thing. A, a great honor to honor Jody Pietro as well tonight. So it's great that you could be here. And your upcoming show? Yes, we have uh, Diana the Musical is coming to La Jolla. And we are working like maniacs to uh, get that going. Can't wait. Looking forward to opening night. <laughs> I'm looking forward to opening day. There's a lot of work before opening night, so it's fun. I, I love, to me, uh, building the beast. You know, musical is the most complicated art form, I think. Yeah, and very uh, collaborative. Uh, yeah, because you have uh, dance and singing and acting and like, and lights know. and theater. And um, we've been working, and, and Chris Ashley and, you know, the team and Kelly Devine. So we've worked together. So it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Great. We look forward to seeing that. And me too. This <laughs> Sonia, and I'm with High Drama. Hi, nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. So what's your favorite part about me? I think the, the whole premise of it I find so beautiful, how the performing arts can affect people who are sick and dealing with, you know, some really major health issues. I think uh, being a performer for my whole life, I think I kind of took my body and my health a little bit for granted, aside from a few injuries. And when you see people who are just struggling from day to day just to survive, uh, the idea of them having some sort of escape for a few hours and to uh, keep their brain open and positive and, and, and take them to a different, uh, different place in life than they're at in a hospital. I just think it's such a beautiful idea and so important. And it has to have a very important effect on their health. And actually, I, I'm only uh, on the periphery right now. I haven't been a part of it directly, though um, I'm trying to get in. I, it's it's only been, I am, and it's, but I would love to donate my time to it because it is just fantastic. And that showing up tonight is part yes, of Yes, yeah.
And how's Red Sparrow? Oh, it's good. It's one of those uh, projects that happened uh, that I didn't think was going to happen again when I did Black Swan. That was kind of my first time working with actors. And, and uh, Red Sparrow... It was. It was. And, and every project is always a little bit different. But working with Jen was just fantastic. And I emailed her. Uh, I hadn't really emailed her since the movie came out. So I, I sent her an email just telling her how much I loved it and how much I loved her work in it. And uh, she... she was kind of over the moon to hear from me and just thanked me again for how patient I was and how uh, I didn't let her make a fool out of herself in front of millions of people. So I take that as a big, uh, a big congratulations for the both of us. I think it, I think we really pulled it off and it was a high point of the movie. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you. you. How's it going? How are you staying warm in that dress? Staying warm? Are you kidding me? I, I, ju I just had a baby, so I'm like sweating every single second. This is like perfect weather right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, how are you able to tear yourself away from your little one? Um, for only make-believe. So they asked me to be a part of tonight, and with, without any hesitation, I said absolutely. I think it's a great organization. I love what they stand for, so I'm, I'm honored to, to be a part of it. Yeah. Well, and they're great. To, they're lucky to have you. So how long have you been involved? I have been covering the Broadway industry for about a decade. So I'm not necessarily involved with it, but from covering the industry, of course, I know about it, and I know about the healing power that theater has. So when, when they told me, you know, we were looking for someone. I said, yes, 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 yes. I've, I've been dying to get involved with the organization. So this is wonderful timing in a way. You get a night off. Well, here's the thing. I'm not an actor. I can't act, right? But I, but I can lend myself to an event like this. So, you know. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you guys. Take care. Michael, nice to meet you. Wait, Strong your hands hand. are too warm. That's because I keep them in my pocket. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually only known about Make Believe for a few years um, through uh, Joe DiPietro, who's one of the honorees tonight. Uh, he wrote a couple of plays that I have been in, and, and I knew that that was his, um, his passion. Um, so coming here tonight uh, has been very special for me because I adore Joe, and uh, if he thinks this is an important thing, then I think it's an important thing. Lovely of you to be here and help celebrate him. Too. Well, like I said, it's my pleasure. Uh, I, I I can't do enough for Joe, and if this is his if this is his charity, then I'm all in for it. And what's your next project? Is it a Joe project or something else? No, my next project is Tootsie on Broadway, which will be in the in the spring. So yeah, I'm I'm very excited to do that. So are you starting to walk in heels and get practice? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a little long in the tooth for that. <laughs> no, I'll be playing the silly. I'm, I'm playing the Sydney Pollock to role. To I am totally stage. supportive all the time. <laughs> I see you. Thank you very much. <laughs> what did we do before Facebook? What did we? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And um, so, how long have you been? It's my first time. I'm very excited. I was just invited to to join in the fun tonight, and I'm I couldn't be happier. That's so great. It is great. And it's nice of you to tear yourself away from your busy schedule. Well, it's nice that, you know, it's my day off, uh, and uh, there's no better organization or person than Joe DiPietro to be honoring, because he's, he's, uh, he's been very good to me, and I, and I want, I could, I'll do anything for him, truly. So, um, and Anastasia, you're going to be leaving that for your next project? Well, December 30th. I'm, I'm there till December 30th. I'm so excited to be there. But then I go off to work with Joe again in, in La Jolla on a new project. So that will be great. Now, yeah. Can we say what the name of the new project is or not yet? You know, they're going to be doing a song from it tonight. I won't be. Not my song, but uh, I haven't been told whether I can or I can't, so I'll just say it. Diana. Diana. We'll look forward to that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, nice. Mr. Marullis. That's me. I like that you said it correctly, too. Nice Greek name. How could I get it wrong? It's right. Not very long, um, but it's the kind of uh, organization that I'm very proud to be even a new uh, part of. Uh, as a young father to a, a beautiful young lady, um, 
you know, I sympathize with what's happening with some of these families and their obstacles, and, you know, I know how lucky I am, so anything I can do to uplift them and their experience in the theater, and really, you know, I, I know that this is a healing thing that we get to do, and I think that we're doing healing type work, and anytime we can uplift people like that and have a magical night at the theater, I know that you know, they're, they're that much better for it. So I'm psyched to be a part of it. Joe Pietro is a dear friend. Um, his work on and off the stage is, you know, unparalleled. And uh, I'm just happy to be here to support him. And he's a very deserved, uh, very deserved uh, recipient of this honor as well. So. And congratulations on your daughter. How old is she? Well, she's not very young, but she's seven. So, but thank you. Yes, Malena James, she's my life. Uh, we live in New Jersey together. She's in ballet and soccer, and she's a great student and a beautiful girl. So uh, she's the reason I do all this stuff, and, you know, these days. So. And your next project? You know, I just came off tour. Um, I'm going to be out touring again in support of my new record um, coming out early next year. I haven't put out a record in 10 years, so it's all original music. We just funded it via Kickstarter. First time I've ever done any crowdfunding, and it was uh, an amazing experience, you know, to, to really, you know, be so involved with the audiences like that, and everyone's really excited. We had a great deal of success as an indie artist with my last single, All About You, available everywhere. So building on the strength of that, I'm psyched to put out the uh, the new material. We just had two sold-out shows at Birdland, debuting a bunch of new songs, and I'll be touring a lot in the early new year. And, you know, I'm on two movies right now. Um, tomorrow I'm back at work on um, a movie with Lucy Hale from Pretty Little Liars. So just hustling and working hard. Just That's the Jersey boy in me. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. Hi. Hi. Yes, hello. I love the purple dress. Thank you. Thank it matches you. the logo. Yes, that was an accident, but yes. <laughs> it was an accident? Yes, I didn't mean to, but glad it all worked Very out. Very fortunate. Yes. So, how long have you been involved with the foundation? Um, t about 24 hours. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I got a call from Lisa Goldberg. I used to know her from the SNL parties way back when. And uh, I think she worked at like one of the restaurants our party was at. So anyway, lo and behold, I got contacted to host. So I said, sure. So yes, that's how I learned about it. Well, thank you so much for your time. And have a lovely evening. Thank you, you too. Thanks. Joe, who's being honored tonight, asked me to be involved. And obviously, I was, I was very happy to and love to. And um, how long have you worked with Joe? So I'm doing with Joe the new Diana musical that we're taking to La Jolla in January. So we've been workshopping that for about a year and a half. Yeah, so a lot of people here tonight from that project. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're gearing up to go. We can't wait. I know. It looks very exciting. It's so exciting. And you get to be in California in January. Yeah, in California in January. I mean, could I wish for more? <laughs> and paid for it. And paid for it. It's like a paid for my vacation. So, and any other projects on the horizon beyond that? Maybe that's all my focus is right there. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. So, have you been doing a lot of research into the... Oh, so much. I mean, I, I, I've pretty much watched any interview I could find. I've read the, in, I've read the things she wrote. Like, yes, deep dive into her. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for your time tonight. Good night. Hi, Kate Rinders. Uh, John Cariani. So, lovely seeing you here tonight. And um, how long have you been involved with the only... Well, we've been fans and supporters since we did Something Rotten with Brad Oscar, whose husband is involved. And, um, and of course, when we found out what it was about, we were so proud of him for doing it and wanted to be supportive as well. Yeah, right. She got the invitation and she invited me, so I'm happy. <laughs> Seems like a fun night out. Yes. <laughs> so, and um, you left the band's visit and you're going to... I'm writing a book. Wow. <laughs> yeah. well, he was supposed to be writing this book for a while, <laughs> but, but the band's been... visit kept going and going and going to Broadway, and so finally he had to spend some time on the book. So you stepped away from theater. Just for a while, just so I can finish my book, yeah. <laughs> because it's due. So... <laughs> so is this autobiographical or something else? No, it's uh, a novelization of Almost Maine, the play that I did. I know that John's play, Almost Maine, is the number one produced play in America. No, I did yes. not know that. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Yeah, it surpassed Midsummer Night's Dream a few years ago. Wow. Oh, stop it. You Get in here. <laughs> we were talking about you. Brad Oscar. Really? Yeah. No way. Yes. All right, I've already You're done this. You're already in everything. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my God. Yeah. Why are you saying more?
warm because I'm not. I am brimming with warmth and love from the inside. I'm there generating you. heat hardcore. I have to learn this technique from you. <laughs> so how long are you involved with uh, Only Make well, you know, the uh, co-lyricist and book writer of Memphis, which is a show that's very near and dear to my heart, uh, has been involved with Only Make Believe since the beginning. And he mentioned it and asked me to come and, you know, help raise funds uh, for the organization many, many years ago. And I said, of course I will. And then I read up and learned more about it and was like, this is spectacular and I want to be associated. Do you know? Yeah. So you've done a few of these events. I've been, I've been at these galas for certain and certainly have seen... Um, what these amazing artists put together for the kids. I've been able to stop in one or two times over the years, more than that actually, over the years, and, and just observe them working and really brightening up the lives of these kids. And what's coming up for you next, personally? Well, you know, uh, Angelica Schuyler, Angelica Schuyler, and more Angelica Schuyler. <laughs> Hamilton, Chicago, for sure, but I'm having a blast. Great. Yes. Well, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Nice to see you. So now for the microphone. Yes. Yeah. Man of the hour. <laughs> it's a, I've been with Only Make Believe for 19 years, so it's a very exciting night for me. I have so many friends and colleagues performing for my shows. Uh, it's just a real thrill. People have literally... Oh, definitely the joy that it brings to very sick children. It's really a wonderful thing, Only Make Believe. I started with Only Make Believe 19 years ago. We were in one hospital. We served about 20 kids. Since then, we've served over 65,000 kids. So it's a really, it's an organization that continues to grow, and it grows because kids love it. You know, kids who really start off life with a bad, bad break just love it, and that's why we're here. Hey, you know what? I, owe, I, I always love Only Make Believe. Whenever I work for it, it gives me back so much more than I give it, so it's really a privilege on my part. And any highlights from tonight? Oh, my God. I, you know what? I have so many friends performing. I think it's all going to be a highlight. I'm just going to uh, relax and watch. Rachel Dratch is going to be hysterical, but it's going to be a great night, I think. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Well, um, as, as long as I've known Joe, and, uh, you know, Joe has asked me to do um, benefit concerts here and there, and uh, what a wonderful organization just to be able to, you know, uh, let kids explore other worlds and their imagination and uh, kind of be the the ambassadors of that. It's wonderful. And you're performing tonight? I am, yes, from from uh, good old Memphis. Okay. Yes, yes. So is, uh, what song are you singing? I'm, well, we're doing a little bit of a mashup. Um, so uh, David Bryan is singing, uh, who wrote the music, and Montego Glover is singing, and I am singing, and we also have some alums from uh, Memphis who are uh, helping us sing back up, and um, I'm singing Memphis Lives in Me, so. Well, so you're just going to be jamming on stage? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, kind of a dream come true to kind of be back with the band. <laughs> and what's next for you? I'm doing this little show here um, at the Schoenfeld, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's really comfy for me to do this tonight, you know. I've got my own dressing room already, so um, so yeah, I'm just uh, sitting here at the Schoenfeld for as, as long as they'll have us, and um, it's a special, special show, speaking of, you know, compassion and, and empathy, and um, and so uh, we're, we're honored to do it, and it's a blessing. And when you interact with the fans every night, do you get a lot of people who are, you know, from far flung places? And we actually, we, we, we have a fair amount of New Yorkers. Uh, we have a fair amount of 9 11 stories. Um, and we have a fair amount of Newfoundlanders, um, which is crazy because I didn't realize that it, it was so populated. <laughs> um, uh, so we get a lot of Newfoundlanders who have their flags, and it's a, it's a wonderful time. Great. Yeah.